Hello, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube tutorial, I am going to show you how to uh, rename an Oracle database. Okay, so we have an Oracle, you're working for a company, and you administer an Oracle database called Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E, and you, your uh, boss wants you to rename the database to Finance2. Alright, so we're going to be move, bringing in a new database called Finance, and we're going to be renaming this one Finance 2. Alright, so, to rename an Oracle database, we do the following. First, we need to log in to our existing database, Finance. So we set our Oracle system identifier to Finance. We ensure that it's set correctly, and we log into our database. And we see, and we do a select name from V dollar sign database to verify that we are indeed connected to the finance database via SQL plus. Now what we do is we shut down the database. Closed, dismounted, and shut down. Okay, so our database is shut down. Now what I like to do is I like to go where the, da where the database resides on disk, on this computer, which is C colon slash database or a data finance. And we do a DIR and we see all the files which, which uh, collectively make up our database, our finance database, our three control files, our three online redo log files, and four data files. All right, so... Now we have to start our database back up, but we're going to tell it to stop at the mount stage of startup. So it's going to read the control files and then stop. Now the reason why the database needs to be mounted is because the name of the database is also kept in the control files. Um, it's also kept, the name of the database is also kept in the header of all the data files in the database. So the control file needs to tell our rename utility that we're about to use um, what uh, what the database name currently is and it's also going to tell um, the utility we're about to use where the data files are that it needs to change its information because all the data files have the database name in them. So our database is in a mounted state. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch the utility that comes with Oracle known as NID and we're going to say target And we're going to say um, target um, our current database name, which is finance, and our target database name, which is finance2. So this is saying, so NID target is, so we're saying we want to change the database name whose current name is finance to the new name, which is finance2. Now it's asking us for a password. The password it's asking us for is the sys password, S-Y-S. And sys is a user that comes created by default in all Oracle databases. Okay, it's just default. And it has a, and it's basically the root of Oracle database. And it has a um, default password of change underscore on underscore install. Again, that's change, C-H-A-N-G-E underscore on O-N underscore install, I-N-S-T-A-L-L. -L. I didn't change it in this database, but this is just for practice. But that's a big no-no. You always want to change that as the first. You always want to change default passwords on you, default user accounts um, as the first step of any installation, not just Oracle databases. So we type in change underscore on underscore install, and because it's a password, you obviously won't see me typing it in. Okay. And it's saying, connected to database finance, there's its 10-digit DBID, um, connected to the server version 1110, control files of database 1, 2, and 3, and it says change database ID and database name finance to finance 2, yes or no? We're going to hit yes. Okay, proceeding with operation, changing database ID um, from uh, that number to that number. 
and we're changing the name. So DVID change wrote new name, DVID change wrote new name. So we're going right down the list there. And now here it is saying database name change to finance too. Modify per, um, so this is telling us that we need to change a few things, okay, because we changed the name of the database. So let's read. Database name change to finance too. Modify parameter file and generate a new password file before restarting. Database ID for database finance 2 changed. All previous backups will be unusable. We'll talk about that. Uh, restart database with reset logs option. DB new ID, new DB ID completed successfully. Okay, so now that we changed the name of our database in our data files and that's all done, the next thing we want to do now is we want to go to our Oracle home which is the location on disk that our Oracle database software is installed at oops which in this case on this server is c colon slash oracle slash app slash product slash 11.1.0 slash db1 and we're going to go into the database subdirectory there database and here are all the configuration file for files for our Oracle instance instances on this server and what we need to do is first thing we need to do is we need to change we need to change the um, we need to delete the SP file because that's going to be no no good but there's no SP file for this database so we're cool so if you had an SP file it'd be advisable to delete it we do have an init p file so we need to change that name so we do move init finance aura to init finance two dot aura note the instance name does not have to be the same name of as the database name. It doesn't. But in Oracle, it's usually a one-to-one -one relationship, and it's usually advisable that the instance name match the database name. Okay, the instance and database are, are two different things. Um, the only the only the only situation that that's not true, where database name and instance name differ, is in the is in the um, in the configuration of rack which stands for uh, real application clusters which is the Oracle database clustering solution but we're running a single instance non-rack database here so we don't have to worry about that so we just changed our name from initfinance.ora to initfinance2.ora now we're going to edit that file and we're going to go in our edit utility we're going to go to replace option and we're going to say replace all occurrences of the string finance and change it to finance 2 okay done so db this is the most this right here is what I was really getting at this is the most valuable right here is the most valuable parameter okay db underscore name and it's actually the minimum parameter needed by an oracle database and this basically is going to match the instance name which is what we want now there were some changes that i didn't want to make for one is the um path name was changed to finance too because it matched my search replace criteria all right we didn't we're not changing the directory structure of our database in the operating system so we don't need for that to change so let me fix that uh, log archive destination this parameter that can stay the same alright so and everything else is good so our parameter file has been changed also the password file needs to be renamed and we'll talk about that later what that's all about and what I usually do is re just recreate it Aura PWD file PWD finance to Aura password equals uh, Oracle one two three. Okay, and don't really worry about that file right now. We'll talk about that in an authentication YouTube videos when we talk about Oracle authentication. Okay, so our init file has been renamed and our password file has been renamed. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to change our Oracle SID finance 2 and 
the following is just in Windows. You don't have to do this in a Linux or a Unix environment. Okay, we need to get rid of the old finance uh, database service. And we need to create our new Finance 2 database service, which it should start it automatically in the background, which will uh, verify by attempting to start it again. All services are created Oracle, service, and then the name of the database with no space. Um, the name of the database instance, I should say and with the O and S of Oracle service capitalized respectively and it's already been started so we know that that's cool alright so now with our password file changed our um, init configuration p file changed our variable changed and our uh, or our Windows service name changed and the name of the database changed in the header files of the, of the data files and in the control file we should be able to restart this database and it should be renamed Finance 2 without any problems. Startup. And of course, we need to restart our database with reset logs option and again I discuss that in more detail uh, when we start talking about uh, RMAN recovery manager and when we start talking about all the different type of uh, user managed recoveries you can do such as recover up to a specific SCN recover up to a point in time things like that and if we do a select name from the database we will see that our database is now called finance2 and if we do a select instance name from the dollar instance, we will see that we kept that one to one relationship. Finance 2, Finance 2. So that's how you rename, um, change the name of your database. Okay? And there is also a. Um, an argument to the NID command called set name and if you do set name equals Y or equals yes it will uh, only set re rename your database name it won't rename your um, DBID as well and we can see that through here there it is set DB name yes Oops, I meant set name Y. Change on install. Default password for user sys. Shut down our database and restart it in mount mode. database should not be open. So if we do start up now. See, we're, trouble, we're, we're, we're making mistakes and troubleshooting together. What a learning experience, huh? Eh? Okay, so now that we're mounted, we'll go ahead and do it again. Change underscore on underscore install. Oops, I'm not really paying attention, aren't, aren't I? So we'll change it to database finance three. Change on install. As you can see now, it's saying that it will. It's saying change database. It's saying it's saying change database name of database finance two to finance three. It's saying nothing about changing the DBID. Okay. 
So if we were to um, omit the set name equals y parameter and do and kick it off again, up here it says change database name of database. Down here it's saying change database ID and database name to this. Okay, so there's a clear difference there. Change database name of database and change database ID and database name. Okay, so if you do if you do that set name command uh, equals y, you're only gonna it's only going to change the DBID. I mean the database, not the DBID. Okay, another way to change the database database name we'll show you right now. So let's say we want to change it back to finance. We can connect to our database. Select. This time, let's, op let's open the database again. 